Hi everyone, welcome back to the new video of Current Affairs YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the important Current Affairs questions and answers of the day, 17 June 2021 for all competitive examinations. Okay, you have two questions at the end of this video. So watch the video till the end and please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that and you can download the PDF file of this section in our Telegram group. And you can also join our Telegram group for more study materials. Okay, we'll keep the link in the description given below. You can check that and download the PDF. Okay, let's start the section. First question. Which IAT has developed the India's first power-free CPAP device named Jivan Vayu? Okay, here the answer for the question is option IAT Ropa. Okay, let's see about the Jivan Vayu. The Indian Institute of Technology Roper, that is IAT Roper, has developed the nation's first power free CPAP device named Jivan Vayu. Okay, this substitute of CPAP machine can function even without electricity. It is adapted to both kinds of oxygen generation units like O2 cylinders and oxygen pipelines in hospitals. Okay, these provisions are not available in otherwise existing CPAP machines. CPAP is the continuous positive airway pressure. It is a treatment method for patients having breathing problems during sleep called sleep apnea. Okay, the machine uses mild air pressure to keep the airways open for easy breathing. It is also used to treat infants whose lungs have not fully developed and the machine blows airs into the baby's nose to help inflate his or her lengths. Okay, in this question, you have to note on that the IIT Roper has developed the India's first power free CPAP device named Jivan Vayu, and the CPAP is the continuous positive airway pressure. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. Okay, let's see the next question. When is the World Day to combat desertification and drought observed annually? Okay, the answer for the question is option D, 17 zone. Okay, let's see about this day. The World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought is a United Nations observance cel celebrated each year on 17 June. Okay, its purpose is to raise awareness of the presence of desertification and drought, highlighting the methods of preventing desertification and re recovering from drought. Okay, the theme for the World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought 2021 is Restoration Land Recovery. We build back better with healthy land. Okay, in this question, you have to note it about the well day to combat desertification and drought. Okay, it is observed and 17 zone. Okay, that's the answer for the question. Okay. Before watching this full video, if you like this video, please click on the like button. Okay, this video like him is only 50. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel current affairs and also in the bell icon for getting new notifications in our youtube channel okay let's see the next question who won the pulitzer prize 2021 in the international reporting category for exposing china's secret uyghur muslim detention camps okay the answer for the question is option c mega rajagopalan okay let's see about this prize indian origin journalist mega rajagopalan along with two contributors won the Pulitzer Prize in the international reporting category for their innovative investigative reports exposing China's secret bill Uyghur Muslims detention camps in eight Xinjiang region. Okay, Mega Rajagopalan shared the US top journalism award with two of her colleagues, Alison Killing and Christo Busche from an internet media publication BuzzFeed News. Okay, this is a first Pulitzer, Pulitzer Prize for best feed news which is a digital news publication founded in the year 2014 okay the three journalists who won the award for the xinjiang series which exposed china's prisons and mass endowment camps that were used to that were used to detain hundreds of thousands of muslims in its xinjiang region okay you have to note on that indian origin journalist mega raj Kobalan, along with the two contributors won the Pulitzer Prize 2021 in the international reporting category. Okay, let's see about Pulitzer Prize. Okay, the Pulitzer Prize are awarded every year in 21 categories. Ace winner receives a certificate and a 15,000 US dollar cash award. Okay, the winner in the public service category is awarded with a gold medal. Okay, that's about the Pulitzer Prize. Okay, I think it's understood. Okay, let's see the next question. 
which bank has launched the ghar ghar ration program okay the answer for the question is option b idfc first bank okay let's see about this program the idfc first bank has announced the launch of ghar ghar ration program an employee funded program for its low income customers whose livelihoods are affected by the covid 19 okay ghar ghar ration is a program where employees have contributed from their personal income to set up a customer covid care fund to provide relief to 50000 covid affected low income idfc first bank customers okay the employees of the bank contributed one day to one month salary for the purpose okay the program involves supply of ration kits to such 50000 low income customers whose livelihoods have been impacted by the covid 19 pandemic okay in this question you have to note on the the idfc first bank has launched the gargar ration program okay let's answer for the question i think it's understood okay let's see the next question henry mary dondra has been appointed as a new prime minister of which of the following country okay the answer for the question is option d central african republic okay let's see about this henry mary dondra has been named the new prime minister of the central african republic as per the statement released by the country's presidency okay the former prime minister Fermin Grebada announced his resignation earlier and Henry Mary Dodde has served as the finance minister of the country okay we have to note that Henry Mary Dodde has been appointed as a new prime minister of Central African Republic okay let's see about this country the Central African Republic is a landlocked country in Central Africa okay we can see here the location of Central African Republic okay it is bordered by Chad Cameroon, Congo, Congo DRC, South Sudan, and Sudan. Okay, the capital of Central African Republic is Bangui. Okay, it is located here. Okay, the currency of Central African Republic is Central African CFA franc, and the president of the country is Faustin Arsene Todera. Okay, that's the answer for the question. I think it's understood. If you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, let's see the. Next question. India exported the first commercial consignment of geographical indication certified Jardalu mangoes from which state to the United Kingdom? Okay, the answer for the question is option A, Bihar. Okay, let's see about the GI tag Jardalu mangoes. The first commercial consignment of certif GI certified Jardalu mangoes from Bagalpur, Bihar. was exported to united kingdom okay apda in collaboration with bihar government indian high commission and invers india export the juicy and aromatic mangoes which were packed and treated at apda pack house in lucknow with distinct aroma and taste jardalu mangoes from bakalpur district of bihar received the gi certification in 2018 okay you have to note on that the Jardalu mangoes are a GA that is geographical indication certified product from the state Bihar. Okay, let's see about the APDA. Okay, the Agriculture and Processed Food Production Export Development Authority is an apex body that promotes export trade of agriculture products in India. Okay, it was founded on 13th February 1986. Okay, the headquarters of APDA is located at New Delhi. Okay, let's see the next question. Which state has decided to set up Vedic Shiksha and Sankar Board within four to five months? Okay, the answer for the question is option C, Rajasthan. Okay, let's see about this. The Congress government in Rajasthan will set up a Vedic Education and Sanskar Board to revive the knowledge of ancient Sanskrit sculptures, sorry, scriptures, and connect the learning of the Vedas with science and yoga. Okay, the board is likely to be. set up in the coming 4 to 5 months okay the ruling congress had promised the establishment of the vedic education and sanskrit board as well as steps to promote sanskrit language and education in, in its manifesto for the 2018 state assembly election okay the the assam state will set up a vedic education and sanskrit sanskrit board okay let's see some points about rajasthan okay we can see here the location of rajasthan state here okay the capital of rajasthan is jaipur okay jaipur is located here okay the governor of rajasthan kalraj mishra 
and the current chief minister of rajasthan is ashok gehlot okay that's about rajasthan i think it's understood okay let's see the next question where is that code is of nspc limited located okay the answer for the question is option b faridabad okay let's see about this okay let's see the news about nspc limited the nspc signs mo that is memorandum of understanding with bihar state hydroelectric power corporation for the implementation of 130.1 megawatt dakmara hydroelectric project okay, the project will be located near village faftiahi on the left bank about 31 km downstream of fimnagar barrage on koshi river okay the 130.1 megawatt dakmara hydroelectric project the largest hydropower project of bihar is to be implemented by nhpc limited on ownership basis okay that's a news about nhpc limited okay let's see about nhpc limited nhpc limited is to the national hydroelectric power corporation is a category a mini ratna company under the ministry of power government of india in the field of hydropower okay currently nhpc has 24 operational power stations with a total installed capacity of 7071 megawatt okay it was founded on founded in the year 1975 okay the headquarters of nspc limited is located at faridabad in haryana okay that's about the nspc limited i think it's understood if you have any doubts please comment down in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay let's see the answers for the questions of last counterface question answer video of 16 june 2021 okay let's see the answer for the first question which state has launched the chief minister shishu seva scheme for covid 19 orphans okay the answer for the question is option b assam okay let's see about this scheme the assam chief minister dr himanta bisha sharma has dedicated chief minister shishu seva scheme to the service of the beneficiaries and handed, handed over the checks of financial assistance to few beneficiaries who lost both their parents to due to covid okay it may be noted that under the scheme an amount to the tune of rupees 7 lakh 81200 would be parked in the banks as fixed deposit in the name of aged beneficiary okay monthly financial assistance of rupees 3500 which will be realized realized from the fixed deposit will be given to the beneficiaries till they attain the age of 24 okay on completion of 24 years of age the principal amount parked as a fixed deposit against each beneficiary would be credited to the, to their bank accounts okay in this first question you have not on the assam state has launched the chief minister shishu seva scheme for covid 19 orphans okay let's see that answer for the next question second question what is the theme of world elder abuse awareness day 2021 okay the answer for the question is option a access to justice okay we have already discussed about the world elder abuse awareness day in our daily kind of is question answer video okay here you have to note that the world elder abuse awareness day is observed annually on june 15 okay the theme for 2021 world elder abuse awareness day is access to justice okay that's answer for second question i think it's understood okay let's see today's questions for you okay daily we are giving two questions that you can answer and please comment your answer in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay let's see the first question for you who has launched the cricket coaching website crickguru with an aim to redefine the learning experience for batting players okay here the options for you option a yuvraj singh option b saurav ganguly option c sachin tendulkar and the option d virendra sehwag okay i will repeat the first question for one more time who has launched the cricket coaching website crick guru with an aim to redefine the learning experience for batting players okay please comment your answer in the comment section given below we will discuss that okay let's see the second question for you which of the following uts has been declared open defecation free ut in india under the first phase of swachh bharat mission okay here the options for you option a ladakh option b chandigarh option c puducherry and the option d jammu and kashmir Okay, I will repeat second question for one more time. Which of the following UTS has been declared open defecation free UT in India under the first phase of Swachh Bharat Mission? Okay, please comment your answer in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. Okay, in this video we have discussed about the important kind of physics questions and answers of the day. 
17 June 2021 for all competitive examinations. Okay, I think it's understood about the section. If you have any doubts related to any question and its answer, please comment down in the comment section given below. We will discuss that. And you can download the PDF file of this section in our Telegram group and can also join our Telegram group for more study materials. Okay, I will give the link in the description given below. You can check that and download the PDF. And if you are not a subscriber of this channel, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel current affairs and also enable the bell icon for getting new notifications in our YouTube channel. Okay, thank you for watching this video. Keep supporting us. See you tomorrow with a new video on current affairs and other study topics. Thank you. Bye bye.